Hey guys, so today is Thursday and we're gonna go to a pawn shop to pick up a gun. So I saw this gun at gunbroker.com and found out that uh, they have a physical store nearby. They have two stores, one in Louisiana, one in Katy. It just so happened that the one that I purchased is from uh, uh, came from Louisiana, so they shipped it to Katy, and today we're gonna pick it up. All right, guys, almost there. Hi, right, guys, I'm here in Katy, Texas. Yeah, it's my first time here, so I don't know if I can film inside. All right, guys, I'm done. In and out in a few minutes, cause I have my. Uh, my CHL with me or CCW uh, license uh, I, I did not film inside it's not worth sharing they don't have much and the guns and ammo that they have are expensive so. but this is, what I, this is what I got it's cheap very cheap he didn't came with a box but he offered one so I said yeah I can put it in my bag but okay so uh, let's go home and uh, let me show you what I got. Hi right, guys, so I did my errands in Mason Road. I bought some new groceries. Passed by the uh, person selling a kid's bike on Marketplace, but she said she's not available. Okay, so I'll just do that next time. But now I'm AutoZone because I noticed that uh, the brakes, especially the front side, the front, uh, they're, they're making a noise. So I, I, I think that's the brake pad. So I'm gonna buy some brake pads and change it home. All right, let's go let's get some brake pads. Thank you. Okay, I have some points, so I got ten dollars less. Hi right, guys, I used my rewards. I was surprised. I I had twenty dollars reward, so instead of paying forty-one dollars, I just paid twenty-one dollars for these ceramic brake pads for the Nissan Sentra. Hey guys, I'm almost home and I'm just gonna pass by Fiesta to buy some fish for dinner and tomorrow, Good Friday, I'm gonna eat fish all day. Alright, I'm done with my shopping. Let's go home. Hi hey guys, so this is what I picked up. Oh, they gave me this. From the AFT. Okay, a wa um, Walter PPK clone Bursa Thunder 380. The reason I bought this, if you remember my uh, previous video with my truck gun, which is a Cobra Denali 380, I was having some problems with feeding. Uh, but in fairness to the gun, it's the magazine. The next round has uh, friction that it doesn't want to go up maybe because uh, being a truck gun it stayed with my truck for what nine years now even when i swapped my uh, my dodge durango to a expedition it remained to be a truck gun so uh, about nine nine to ten years outside with the heat with and the cold so maybe it's also my fault I did not take care of it but I said to myself I need a more reliable truck gun. So what is a truck gun? It's something that uh, I can use if in case I, forg I forgot to br bring my EDC uh, pistol. Okay and uh, it should be reliable and it should be cheap. So I bought that Cobra Denali 380 nine years ago 
for 99 credits. I cannot say any denomination. YouTube doesn't like that. So nothing is for sale in this post. If YouTube is watching, this is just a show and tell video. Okay. So I bought it for 99 credits. This I saw on Gunbroker. Buy it now for 99 credits. But then I tried, I tried to uh, bidding on it. But when somebody was uh, on a bidding war with me, when it reached around 88, I said, oh, I'll just, I'll just buy it. Even for 99, this is a steel. S-T-A-L. And this is a steel gun. Anyway, S-T-E-L. E-E-L. Anyway, so uh, 99 credits plus shipping, of course. I did not pay any FFL fee because I picked it up in their store. Um, what else? This is perfect for what I'm looking for. Cheap, reliable, being in the market for so many years, they did not change a thing with the Bursa Thunder 380 because it works. And it doesn't, uh, it's ugly, you know, the condition. That's what I'm looking for. So I can get it cheap, okay? So look at the slide. I found out I can get cheap slides on eBay if you wanted to. I can get full slides for 40 credits, but why, uh, but why would I do that uh, if I can just polish this, clean it up? Uh, you can barely read what's on it. It says uh, Thunder 380, Argentina, made in Argentina. Okay, I'm just going to share with you a... Uh, a uh, meme that I saw on Facebook. A uh, guy in Argentina is trying to belittle a fellow Pil Filipino. He said, oh, in Argentina, Filipinos are made. And so the Pinoy said, the Filipino said, oh, in the Philippines, Argentina is corned beef. <laughs> yeah, we, we have uh, Argentina corned beef in the Philippines. Anyway, so this is what I like. A project gun I can clean it up and the frame I believe is alloy so it doesn't rust it's just a slide and uh, the the barrel comes with one magazine I think this is the original magazine because of the follower it has a mag disconnect safety trigger is dead it has two safeties actually uh, Slide safety and decocker. It serves. It, it also serves as a decocker. There you go. And another safety to lock the gun, if you want to. But I'm not gonna use that. In emergency situation, I don't think this is a good idea. Okay, putting that there. Anyway, everything looks good. Everything, uh, especially for the price, is just the surface rust, surface condition of the slide. But for me, this is perfect for what I'm looking for. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I've seen and uh, fired one of these a few years ago. Maybe, what, nine or ten years ago. I like the extended beaver tail. I like that it's just a 380 in a steel frame gun, which handles the recoil very well and the condition of the grips the grip panels are still good no need to replace them but if I want to I'm just I'll probably get uh, those wood grips that will look uh, will make the gun look fancy but other than that this is my actually I'm still thinking will, will I turn this to a truck gun I like it Looks like a Walther PPK in person. It's one thing that you see it online uh, in, in pictures, but if you hold, actually hold it, I like the angle, the extended beaver tail, and being a 380. And has a hammer. So, just want to show you, this is the before. I mean, before I clean this up. surface rust no problems by the way this if you're not familiar with the bursa the barrel is fixed to the frame and 
I think that makes it more accurate than you no know, uh, guns with tilting barrel design. There you go, guys. So this is my latest truck gun. We'll see, we'll see. If I'm gonna make this a truck gun to replace the Cobra Denali 380 or just uh, loop the Cobra Denali 380. I like it already. I like the feel of the gun. And I haven't fired it yet, but I like it. Uh, I fired one uh, a few years ago. It handles the recoil well, being a steel gun shooting a 380 round. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.